could you actually just clarify how music is playlisted on one extra uh, specifically? Uh, you know, there's, a, there's a, a few different routes as to which kind of music kind of ends up on the playlist. Um, uh, and the first most kind of popular way is uh, through the specialist DJs playing a record. So we have specialist DJs that have got nighttime shows on one extra. Um, you know, hip hop DJs like Semtex, Westwood, uh, drum and bass DJs like Bailey, uh, garage DJs like DJ Cameo wrong with pirate sessions. And you know, if they're supporting a record, um, and they're playing it consistently and outside of one extra the record is also starting to build up a buzz as well so you know we will look at things um, to get a wider picture so for example you know with a record like uh, the worried him um, by SX last year you know Logan I think was the first person to play it on Kiss FM but after Logan started playing it our DJs picked up on it you had Cameo playing it you had Westwood playing it and it just started to build up a general buzz um, once once a specialist record kind of builds up a buzz to a point where we think to ourselves, you know what, this record's actually ready for the daytime playlist, we'll take it into the playlist meeting. And um, the playlist meeting is a weekly meeting and um, there's 12 people that sit on that committee. So it's me and my team, um, there's three of us in the team. And then there's um, there's nine um, specialist DJs um, and production staff from One Extra. You have people there from, you know, garage, hip hop, drum and bass, dancehall and garage, right there through to people that are into pop music, you know, the most popular music by you know black eyed peas and and, and jay-z etc so that's the first way that we'll and yeah you know we play the record if people like the record and it gets an overall good response then we'll put it onto the playlist um the second way that we'll playlist the record is through something called servicing so if a record label services as a record from an already established artist um we need to look at it straight away and that only happens in the cases of like the dizzy rascals of this world the jay-z's the beyonce's the rihanna's etc proven established artists that are coming with um, daytime radio is about supporting hit music and the best of the best. That's what we play, um, or that's what we look and aim to play. We play the best hits from the commercial world and the best hits from the specialist world. So if you've got a record that's kind of bubbling on the specialist underground level, that's not necessarily good enough. We need a record that's bubbling to a, uh, to a point where, you know, it, it can't bubble anymore and the only place for it to go is to cross over. Um, so that's the second way that we play these records. And, and the third way that we play these records is really quite simple. Sometimes someone might just send a record in via email or might just give us a CD and we like it so much that we just play this the record. You know, and that one extra, our playlist is quite flexible. We're not under the same pressures that maybe some of the other bigger stations are under. So we can still be quite flexible and, and just play these records like that. Um, so moving on to kind of message records with a political message like I was saying before um, and you know obviously I'm not privy to every single political record that's out there but in terms of in recent years I think a lot of the political tracks that have come through um, to my attention anyway haven't really been the type of records that people want to hear on daytime you know if you think about and if I liken it to um, you know, TV, for example, you know, I think that if you turn on your TV on a Saturday evening as you're getting ready to go out, I don't think you're necessarily going to be expecting or want to see a documentary on, I don't know, Adolf Hitler or, or uh, Mugabe out in Zimbabwe. You know, there's a certain audience expectation of what you expect on certain times of the day on your broadcast media. And, you know, we are the BBC, we are a big corporation, and to an extent, we do have to work within those boxes. And on daytime radio, it's not necessarily about playing um, 12 hours of political messages or even an hour it's about playing big records from the specialist world and from the from the kind of commercial world and if there's a record of a political message that falls within one of them two worlds then we'll play it you know we still play dead press hip-hop very political message we still play records of the dead press album um you know that, that we do play records with political messages but it's about hiding the message it's not hiding it's about putting those messages in your word no, no, I, was gonna say hiding them. I was gonna say hiding the messages in your song that's what i was gonna say it's about hiding the messages in your song's world well because like i said at the end of the day at, at the end of the day you know you can look at someone like nas for example and if you look at nas is uh, nas, nas, nas is a rapper from, from, from queensbridge in america and um, you know, if you look at Nas's most popular record, his most poppy record called You Owe Me that features Genuine, you know, the hook of that says, pay me back like 40 acres to blacks. You know, very political statement there. You play that record all the time. Do you know what I mean? It's about, if you've got a political message, just put it in a good song and it will get played. It's as simple as that. My parents listened to James Brown. He told them to be back and proud. 
right? I used to listen to Public Enemy. He told me to fight the power. What is any of these young people talking about right now? Just give me one thing. Now here's the thing. Let me explain that to you. Let me explain that to you. You've seen you've seen riots in Greece. You've seen a, you've seen a revolution in Tunisia. You see a revolution going on right now in Egypt. What? Name me one artist talking about the year that British artist who's a black man who makes... Right, listen to what I'm saying. Though. Excuse me, don't... Like, excuse, it's all good saying about Tunisia, but we're making music about what's going on around us, you get me? Yeah, that's all good saying, you're looking at the news enough. saying Tunisia, Afghanistan, fair enough, innit? I'm making music about what's going on in Newham, star. Right. That's where I'm from, you get me? So what am I going to make about music that's going on in Tunisia? Uh, excuse me, I, I ain't talking about you. I ain't talking about you. I don't even know who you are. Say nothing, say nothing. So I can do, I can do that, I can do that. But listen to what you're saying, but listen to what you're saying. Wait, 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 talk, let me talk. You're saying, wait, 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 wait. You're, right, but listen to what you're saying. You're saying, bro, you sat here, wait, wait, wait. Let me talk, innit? You sat here, yeah, stood up, yeah, with the confidence to say, yeah, I do not know any artist that talks about them things. But you just said to a ghetto, bro, I don't know who you are. So what are you talking about? You can't, have you heard artists, that, there's plenty of artists that take that route. I can name a few, Kalashnikov, he takes that route. Oh, no, he takes that route. So that's, don't, don't stop me and say there's not man that do that music. There's you know what, sir, sir, that's an ignorant view. That's an ignorant view. Excuse me, any black man, any black man that does an advert for the Conservative Party has done the worst Uncle Tom shoe shine I've ever seen. We're talking about two different things here. Hang on, I've got to wrap this up. We've got, you know I mean, can, we, can I just, like, can I just kind of stand in the middle of, stand in the middle of this madness, yeah? I appreciate your courage as, as an educator to stand up and speak how you feel. Because at the end of the day, it's gentlemen like yourself that are in that classroom with the next generation who come and walk into that classroom, yeah? And we're not doing that. Sorry, sir, could you please no. let Richard finish his point? Thank you. At the end of the day, a lot of young people... My friend, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to make a point here that actually touches on what you're saying, yeah? So I think we just need to calm it down just a little bit. But the only point I'm trying to make is that we have some of the finest lyricists in hip hop, in grime, yeah, in the English language in this country, yeah. The list from MCD to Skinny Man to this gentleman over here gets Wretch Free Two, Low Key, Mike Righteous. I could go on and on, but the point I'm making is that the American version of hip hop is the one we see all the time. It's a small version, it's shrinking. You look globally, you look in Africa, they look up to a man like Tupac, you know what I mean? They look up to people who had a kind of like a more rebel spirit in their music. And I think, what, touching what Jody's saying, the people who are making music in Palestine, the people who are making music in the Middle East, they have a hip hop spirit in them, yeah? yeah? yeah. They know that hip hop comes from nothing yeah. and wants to be recognised. Yeah. Getz can represent Newham and that might be his struggle for the, for the moment, but there are tremendous artists in this country who are talking about those global concerns this gentleman has raised. Yeah. And I think my question has really been, where are they? Where are they? Where are they? I'll tell you where they are. They're trying to be heard and they're finding YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, all those avenues and they would like a playlist. They would like to be heard. But the other problem, yes. the other problem we're facing, yes, say it. my friend, say you're it. letting yourself down now. You're letting yourself yeah, down. You yeah. The other problem we're facing is we're trying to eat. Yeah, everyone's got mortgage, rent, food, you know, all those things. And the pressure that a lot of lyrical artists are facing is to dumb down their content yeah. to get paid. That's the pressure. That's coming from the corporations, that's coming from certain figures that are out there, but they are lyrical, we just need to support them and encourage them and challenge their status quo. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm very glad, I'm very glad this point has come up and I was very happy to hear earlier on when Fusion was saying that it was hip-hop that politicised him and hip-hop politicises thousands of young people including myself every single day. The problem with this question and the point that's kind of come up already but I want to restate it is that we do have political hip-hop artists 
We have artists like Akala, Rotic, Mark Titus, Loki, Devlin. We have many, Risen C. We have many hugely talented political artists. The problem is, is that people like my man Austin won't playlist it. Noah, speaking now, my wife. Speaking on Austin's behalf, speaking on Austin's behalf, obviously Austin has the power to play this a lot of things, Jody. I understand what you're saying, but it's not just Austin, you know. Do you know there's a bigger world outside that some pe sometimes people don't want to hear that, they want to hear party tunes, they want to feel like they can turn on one extra and hear a party tune. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes Austin, people like Austin have to take that into consideration. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because you're gonna turn on you're gonna turn on one extra what, one day and it's gonna be what, all serious tunes. Like in a row, in a row. That's that's the thing. That I, th I think just just to, just to talk about the playlist and stuff. First of all, we you know. Sorry, madam. Can we let the panel the panel speak, please? Thank you. I hear you, mama. I hear you, mama. I hear what you're saying, there, mama. You know what? That's a that's a that's a really good. You know what? That's a really good point. But at the same time as playing the records like a Devlin community outcast that talks about the social ills of the community, why shouldn't we play a tidy temper frisky or a, or a pass out? Well, why exactly. shouldn't we? Why shouldn't we? Why shouldn't we play again? The ballots are playing both. Yeah, but it's it's shows. I think they're giving you a slightly hard time here. And yeah, not nah, yeah. You are one of thousands of people. Yeah, no, nah, it's fine. You know what? It's fine. You came here, man. <laughs> <laughs> right. I love you. Know what? Yeah, I know. You know what? Austin. Ali, I know. I know. I know. Nice, nah, cool. Yeah. yeah nah. You know, I understand what you're saying, but like I said, we, we play, you know, if you look at the charts, yeah, if you look at the charts, we're a, we're a mainstream, whether you like it or not, One Extra has to serve the wider population. We're a mainstream station. If you want music that's serving um, a particular message, if you're interested in political, in, in records that have got a political, political message, you might find some of them on One Extra, you might find some of them on other broadcasters, but One Extra, we're a mainstream network. That's what we are. If you're after that type of music, just like if you're after just drum and bass or just messages that talk about violence in their lyrics, maybe one extra is not for you. It's just as simple as that. And you know, one extra we're a mainstream network and we play party tunes and we will play Tinchy Strider and we will play Tiny Temper and we will play Devlin and we will play Kalashnikov. All of these artists that have been named today, every single one of them artists that have been named today gets played on one extra. Some more than others, some more than others. Every single artist that has been mentioned today by Jody, by Chantel, by, by Getz, by Fusion, they've all been played or are getting played on one extra. It's just as simple, like, it's as, simple as that. So. On that note, um, I think today has been a really interesting discussion. Hopefully everyone's learned a few things. Um, I just want to give this opportunity for everyone to kind of just round up and say their kind of closing statement, as it were. Um, and lastly, I just want to tell everyone to Google gets his acoustic jam because if you think there's people out here that aren't talking sense then listen to that and you'll say different um so gets do you want to close for us first it's been wonderful where's that guy where's that guy where's... what's his name i want to meet him what's your name brother <laughs> Mr. Hubbard, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to meet in the view, you know, brother. I'm going to educate you, you know, fam. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, car. I, I believe that I believe that there's a few people in the world that are like you. What you did, I, I, I understand your opinion. I love your opinion, fam. It's love. Fam, it's love. I love your opinion. I love your opinion. But what you did, you kind of... You review, it's like reviewing a CD and not listening to the CD, fam. You can't review it, dog. You can't do it, dog. <laughs> it's like, you spoke, you said, where's this artist? You, said, you spoke, yeah, you spoke, you said, where's this artist? Where's that artist? Where's this artist? Yeah, but listen to what I'm saying. They'll, they'll get to the mainstream people like Klasnikov and people like Loki. Times are changing, times are changing. Okay then, okay, can I ask you a question? Have you seen an improvement in the British music scene. Can I ask you that? Recently, yes, of course. Of course. So right now, what I'm saying to you, we are at early stages. We're building something, you know? Like, we're at early stages. I understand, but it's early stages. 
really this was meant to go down from when Soul Solid was, was about, but it didn't, it didn't. Now it's happening today, so I'm saying, be patient with the people, you know, fam. Because what will happen is this, man will be running around town, making all these tunes you're talking about, and then I get to be 40, and they say, oh, my man's still making them tunes, I'm not on the upper man. Because, because, because you didn't want to play the game, dog. Be easy. Thank you, Gets. Oh, yes, lastly, sorry, last question for Gets. Is there a place for politics in music? Of course, of course there's a place for politics in music. <laughs>